certified scale before you hit the scales if you're not sure of, the, of your weight. See, I got a red. Right, A-Lane, A-Lane, Mickey, right, go to your left, inspection bay three. Right, left, inspection bay three. Our first time getting called in inspection at this way station. About time, I can get my sticker. What do you say? I'm gonna get my sticker. No, but what lane? I understood. Lane three. Three. Yes. Emergency brakes on? Uh, no, okay. Hey, good morning. Where are you coming from? Where are you going? Uh, Stockton. Going to Vallejo. Dropping the load off. All right, man. I just need to see your driver's license and registration. Get the registration. Oh, okay. He was asked to turn on his lights, including the high beam. He checked the front. This morning, I, I fixed that light. <laughs> yeah. And he's using a flashlight, looking underneath everything. He's now checking the GBWR of the trailer. my load, see yes. if I got all the straps, four He's straps. now checking, heating the tires. What's he doing? Left signal. Okay. Right signal. Brakes. Everything. Ooh, pass. Oh, checking the lease springs. Check. So far, I'm just going to roll it already and check it out now. Thank you. That's another thing. It's important to check uh, underneath uh, the truck. That's what he's doing right now. For any oil leaks, uh, he's going to check for uh, loose screws and nuts and bolts down there. The steering stuff. This is why I tell everybody, always do a good pre-trip because you never know when you're going to get pulled in. And these guys are really pick picky. Right now, he told me everything looks good. Now he's under the truck and he's checking for anything that's uh, worn out or rusted or whatever. So you might get your new sticker. Wow. <laughs> Keep my fingers crossed. And he could he could be in there checking the the brakes too. How thick they are. So yeah, we're at the Cordelia scale getting a uh, inspection through DOT and you know what's funny this right here we did that today we did that today not knowing we're gonna get pulled in yeah, yeah I was just curious but I'm glad I I fixed the light and I got this still under the truck oh sorry no he's under the trailer now Lee 
springs, my equalizers, if they're cracked, broken, and I inspect those every week. Uh, he can't really inspect the uh, the brakes on it because you, you, you have to take the drum off. So. Broken leaf springs, broke crack equalizers. Um, he bumped the tires, worn out tires. Um, but he's probably gonna say you got a lot of grease on the equalizer. I, I put that grease. Checking all my little wires that are connected. Yeah. Oh, he, he's right here. Can you see? Can you see him? Right. Now he's underneath the, my truck. He's probably gonna say something about the little oil leak on the axle. But I cleaned it because I just changed the. Uh, oh the fluid yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay, man. The only thing I need left for you to show me is your fire extinguisher and your triangle reflectors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh, I need. I got up and helped him pick up the back seat to show him the fire extinguisher because the back seat we hit with. It's pretty heavy. And now he's out on the outside showing him the reflectors that he has in his toolbox. Yep. Alright man, the only thing I can see that isn't anything against you or anything at all, but the major point on this trailer that has wear is that is that pivot arm for your springs. Come back around. I've got some new ones already. Yeah, I'm, I'll just show you. of attachment okay so some guys do three some guys do two okay. some guys are lazy some guys uh, not, not me. you know I mean yeah. most of the time when it's the guy that's the boss yeah he does it right yeah it's the employees that are uh, trying to cut corners that yeah. you know oh I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm getting paid by the hour so I need to get out of here and yeah. it's like that's not gonna help you when the worst can happen yeah. exactly yeah. you know well so, this is my business yeah. I don't want to lose a car he's going through <laughs> highway 12 uh -huh. you get a lot of Yep. So I went right after the real Mr. Bridge, I go over. I'm going to recheck my straps because they do come loose. I mean, I lost two already. Really? Yeah. In the past, two In straps. Past. <laughs> not two no, no, not two cars. But, but see, I hit this, and I don't know, I don't know why. I'm like, I'm just curious what the weight is. I didn't know I was going to get pulled in. <laughs> so look. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. I still got more room for uh, more loads. So does he get his new sticker? The he three? Sticker. Perfect. Yeah. He's been wanting a sticker. It's been a long time since you got a new sticker. Yeah, exactly. Every time I go through here, I'm like, do me in. I need my sticker. <laughs> and I buy, I buy these tires uh, a, a, a couple months ago. Last time I was getting sticker for the trailer because I had two ball tires. Oh, okay. Yeah, the lady wasn't nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to replace them. No problem. 
aware on the equalizers, uh -huh. which I'm already aware of that. That's why I bought the new set. Yeah. But I'm waiting for it to. I told the the uh, the officer. I said I'm waiting for it to crack, and then I'm gonna replace them. He said I need to put grease in more. Oh really? Yeah. You put a lot of grease I in said, those I equalizers. Got, I got a lot of grease. <laughs> I mean, it, they're taking a beating. Wait, am I supposed to go in there? No, he'll come in. He has to put everything in the computer. That's funny how I, I, I was able to fix that light this morning, and I. Anytime I go through the scale, I gotta fix what's wrong with it before you actually go through the scale. Now we're just waiting. So he told me that my, you heard what he said, my truck and trailer, it's like, it's pretty clean. I said, I, I, I keep everything up on my, uh, mm -hmm. my, my unit, he called it the unit. Your unit's pretty clean compared to other stuff that I've seen. I said, as soon as I uh, have something wrong with it, I fix it right away. All right, getting my sticker. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said you had a um, 2001 sticker that it's been a long time. That's probably why you were called in. Yeah. And then the fact that you had a full load. No, they go after the full load. Yeah. Because if you're just having one car, I don't think they're going to worry about you so much. Because uh, I'm not sure we're on the 3500. That probably would have been pushing it. Yes. Okay, so you know you can't go out of the state of California. Yeah. Because you got that restriction. Yeah. I never go out of This is his Reno. This is, of course, California Highway Patrol. And today's date, March 2nd, and you go down here and it says no violations were discovered. So he's good. And of course you gotta 